What is going on everyone? So for the guys that are on an i9 CPU from the recent generation, so 13th gen and 14th gen i9s, if you're watching this video, then I'm gonna show you how to fix your CPU, causing your PC to blue screen, causing games to crash, and causing loads and loads of random issues that you have no idea why they're even happening. So I'm gonna go over how to check if your CPU is unstable. I'm gonna go over how to fix it, and then I'm gonna describe why it's even happening in the first place. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the link in the description, and then you're gonna go to to Benchmate. You're gonna download Benchmate, and once you've downloaded Benchmate, all you wanna do is just open it up. And the easiest test that we're gonna run is Cinebench R15. 90% of the time, if your CPU is unstable on stock configuration, AKA your i9 is just unstable on the default BIOS settings, then this Cinebench test will crash or it will just stop rendering. So right now my CPU is obviously stable just because I have the fix done and I've had it done since the beginning of me having the CPU. So if you just got your PC and this is crashing, they need to watch this video. So double click Cinebench R15 and then all you want to do is just click run on the left and it will start rendering this image right here. Now, if your CPU is unstable, it will either give you an error that tells you to press OK and it will just stop rendering or the whole program will freeze and it'll stop rendering or it'll just close out completely. It could be either one of those. So ideally, you want to run this three times and make sure it doesn't do that any of the three times. If it does it, then skip around this video to find the fix that we're going to do in BIOS and then I would recommend keep testing them though, if it doesn't do it, it's just because a lot of you on the default configuration, you need to make sure your CPU is stable. And then even if you're on the default configuration, you need to go do the fix before your CPU degrades. I won't explain why I'll explain later, just do the fix before watching the entire video. So CPU multi-core run this instead of bench R23. And this one really hits the CPU kind of harder than R15. So this one will also error kind of instantly if your CPU is unstable. So run this three times. If you don't get an error or a freeze or the program closes, then your CPU is not unstable and it should be fine, but still do the fix that I'm going to show in the BIOS. So as you can see, mine obviously gives me a score. If it gives you a score, that means your CPU passes the test and you're good to go. It's stable. I'm going to go to the BIOS now. So just restart your PC and spam delete on your keyboard or restart your PC and spam whatever key that you have to spam to get into BIOS and then it will meet you there. All right, guys. So once you're in the BIOS and once you're in the overclocking settings menu of the BIOS, you're going to look for something called P core ratio. And depending on your CPU, you need to set this to a specific number and this number basically spreads the speed all the cores that you have so the first eight cores those cores are the fastest cores and by default they are fluctuating in speeds but basically what you're going to do is you're going to make all of them the same speed so you don't have any instability issues so for example if you have a 14900k for the p core ratio just put 56 if you have a 13900ks put 56 now if you have other cpus like a 13900k you would put 54. If you have a 14900KS, you would put 57. Now, this just depends on your CPU. Just set it to these numbers. Now, if you're on a KF, it's the same thing as a K. So 14900KF, just set it to 56. 13900KF, set it to 54. If you're on an MSI BIOS, it's going to look like this. P core ratio, set this to whatever number I just told you to set it to. And then the CPU ratio mode, make sure this is on fixed mode. And then on ASUS BIOS, you're looking for performance core ratio under AI tweaker or extreme tweaker. You're going to set this to sync all cores and then all core ratio limit. You're going to set it to one of the numbers I just said earlier. Then in a gigabyte, it's just performance clock CPU clock ratio. Same thing as earlier. Just set it to one of the numbers I mentioned earlier, depending on what CPU you have. So pretty simple guys on how to do this fix. Now, this is not going to work for a lot of you. The reason why is just because you need to increase the CPU V core, AKA the voltage a little bit more in order to run those speeds. And I'll describe later why, but what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down in MSI. Now to change the voltage, all you're going to do is find, for example, CPU core voltage mode. You're going to set this to offset mode, and then you're going to choose plus by CPU right here. And then once you do that, all you're going to do is CPU core voltage offset, just high point one. Now, once you do that, that should be it. You can just save and exit. And this is for MSI BIOS. If you have this now, if you're on ASUS, look for actual VRM core voltage again, under AI tweaker, it's going to be at the bottom. Them. set this to offset mode offset mode sign set this to plus and then cpu core voltage offset just do point one and if you're on gigabyte it's the same thing just look for v core voltage mode set this to offset and then just add point one for the offset and make sure it's on plus not minus and what this is going to do is your cpu is going to get an extra voltage just as tiny amount just to make the cpu stable in the test that we ran so once you've done these bios fixes and saved the exit 
exit it, all you're going to do is you're going to run Benchmate again. And this is really important that you guys have to test this because the 0.1 voltage might not be enough. What you're going to do is after you've done these fixes that I just described, you do the p-core ratio and then you do the offset voltage and you add a little bit of voltage and you go to Benchmate, you're going to go to Cinebench R23 and all you're going to do is you're going to run this again. Now, if you get an error, you will get it later than usual. If you do get an error, either way, go back into the BIOS, the offset voltage, add a little bit more. So what you're going to do is instead of 0.1, you're going to do 0.15. You're going to go back in here, run the Benchmate again. If you still get crashes or an error, add a little bit more. So 0.175. If you still get crashes, add 0.2. You could do a little bit higher if you intend to, but I'd say around anything above 0.5, then you're getting into really, really high ranges. So just stick to 0.1, 0.2, 0.3 maximum around there and then just make sure that you get your cpu stable that's all we're going to do is just because this is going to make your cpu stable for the, the i9s and then just make sure you do the p core ratio that's kind of the most important part that you keep the p core ratio at whatever number i described before i'll describe them what the numbers are again so for the i9 1400 ks set this to 57 for an i9 1400 k or kf set this to 56 if you're on an i9 13900 ks set this to 56 if you're on an i9 13900 kf set this to 54 and if you're on an i9 13900 k set this to 54 and then the offset again as described earlier start at plus 0.1 if that doesn't work you still get errors add a little bit more 0.15 and then add a little bit more 0.175 test again keep doing that so you get to around a voltage that 100 clears all of these tests in benchmate so you do a whole bunch of runs of cinebench r23 i'd say around five runs of this no errors then you're good to go your cpu is stable you will not get any more crashes in games and once you've done that pretty much good to go you guys are done with the fix you can just go play your games and enjoy your i9 performance without really sacrificing any of the performance you gain the exact same performance without intel fix Fixes that they released in the BIOSes. Those fixes, in my opinion, just lower performance and they're not worth it. What these fixes are doing is pretty simple. What we're doing is we're making sure that the CPU is capped at the all boost core clock. So all of your cores, the maximum for them is those numbers, depending on your CPU. And all of your cores should be able to run at that speed normally. But what Intel has done with these i9 CPUs to get better benchmark scores is they let two of these cores or three of these cores just run way higher than usual, just because those cores are technically better than the other cores. So they let them run at some stupid high frequency, like six gigahertz or 6.1 gigahertz or 6.2 gigahertz. But that requires more voltage for that one specific core, more voltage equals more degradation more temperatures so over time you might not notice this whenever you first get the cpu but after three months of usage six months of usage then your cpu starts crashing in games then you're wondering why you're, what's going on is it my windows is it my drivers is it my xmp profile it's none of that it's just your cpu is unstable because it degraded since intel put some stupid high voltages into the first three cores on your cpu we, we just did in the bios is pretty much capped all of the cores to a certain speed so it doesn't do the algorithm that basically lets it go to six gigahertz so that doesn't keep happening the degradation and then to accommodate for the degradation we added a little bit of voltage to get cpu speed for all eight cores to be stable now the e cores and the rest of the stuff on the cpu they don't really matter there's not an issue with those but p core ratio is the prominent one where you're going to get most of your degradation from and the issues with crashing etc so if you made it all the way to this video and you still can't figure it out for the bios that you have you can just book a pc service in my description go to myzilla.net website and just book a service we'll do the fix we'll do an optimization get your game running better than ever and then we're pretty much good to go after that now if you are interested in an overclocking service for your cpu because this is technically sort of like an overclock but not really we're just making our cpu stable but if you want more performance out of your cpu without degradation without causing any issues go join my discord server and go to the overclocking services channel you can book any of the ram overclocks cpu overclocks or gpu overclocks or even a full system overclock in there from my two overclocks clock and specialist they'll get you right without any issues if you're interested go join my discord server but anyways guys if this fixed your cpu issue comment down below like this video subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out